Hey dudes, it's Lilu here. This is my vlog for today. It's Friday the 8th of December and I'm working from home today. Uh, just a couple of things I wanted to put a little record of to myself because I do like doing vlogs to myself after all. Um, first one is this time about two weeks ago I had my nipples pierced. So, um, and it's something that I've wanted done for the longest time. I've wanted it done for like six, seven years. And it wasn't a case of I was scared to go and get it done. It was just a case of, I, I don't know, I just never got around to doing it. So um, on the high road up here in Bournewood, where I moved recently, there is a tattooist and um, hairdressers and uh, piercers up there. And it looks quite nice and it's conveniently near where I live. So what I ended up doing was just giving them a call, finding if they had an appointment, and then just sort of off the bat that day when I had it done. Um, I had both my nipples done at the same time, well not at the same time, but my right one done first, then my left one. And my experience of it actually was, I mean, I'm not really someone to go and get piercings. Tattoos has always been the thing that I really love getting more than anything else. And um, so I, w I was kind of a bit apprehensive about it and thinking, God, this is really going to hurt. Plus, my dad had his nipple pierced when we were like kids. And my dad, I remember him saying that it was like the worst thing he ever had. And he would rather like give birth like 15 times and never have his nipple pierced again. So to be honest, I was sort of expecting it to be like really awful. Um, but actually, I was really pleasantly surprised and it was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be at all. In fact, I think having my nose pierced twice was probably much more painful and much, much more uncomfortable than having my nipples pierced. Um, so anybody that's thinking of having it done, basically what they do is uh, the lady or guy, whoever's doing it, they draw um, a dot either side of um, your nipple because they want to make sure that it's straight and they'll hold the bar up to it if you're having a bath for it or whatever. Um, make sure that it's straight both sides and um, with you standing upright. Then uh, you lay down and they put a clamp uh, over your nipple and then they obviously have a needle and the needle has a plastic tube on it. And what they do is they put the needle through and obviously I had to breathe in when they did that. Um, and it feels like the needle goes through and it takes quite a long time to go through. It's not like when you have your ears pierced and it's just a sting. Um, it's like a real pinch and it just goes on a little bit longer than you expect it to um, and then the plastic tube goes through with a needle they take the needle out and then um, this is why I'm assuming ha um, afterwards they then got the bar and put the bar through job done um, and that was all done and then um, the bar goes through they pull the plastic bit off and then put the ball on and actually I think having the plastic bit pulled out of my nipple afterwards was probably more painful than the actual piercing itself because once you've had that little sting again afterwards it's like fuck this bit's gonna hurt as well and then the second one um, is obviously more painful than the first because the first one you don't know what to expect and the second one you think I'm just gonna get over and done with and you get done and it hurts a little bit more because you're expecting that pain uh, in terms of healing it's been amazing like my nipples have healed amazingly so and it's only been like just a couple of weeks but um, I've got scabbing around uh, the actual piercing bits itself now all I'm doing is um, salt water and um, I'm using tea tree oil as well for around like swellings and redness um, not actually applying tea tree oil over the actual wound itself you're supposed to sort of kind of go around it and tea tree oil is like the best thing in the world and it heals everything um, when I had my nose pierced I was kind of getting like little bubbles and sores a lot and I had my nose pierced like six years ago now um, and yeah it, it was like really quite sore and I put lots of um, tea tree oil around the edge of it and it just absolutely healed it perfectly and it was lovely so um, tea tree oil I um, absolutely recommend that that's the cure to everything if you're having problems with like keloids or sores or growths or piercings not healing very well um, the other thing is I'm allergic to nickel so the bars that I have in my nipples at the moment are titanium um, and they don't have any nickel in them at all where previously I've had piercings with surgical steel bars and things like that like when I had my um, scaffold bar in, in my left ear uh, it just was not healing at all and at that time I didn't realise I was allergic to nickel which explains a lot of why it was never healing um, so yeah overall the piercings have been amazing there hasn't been any bleeding any weeping 
any of this this horrible stuff that I've been reading online it's just been totally bliss um, I've had a really amazing experience actually of having my nipples pierced so I don't know if it's necessarily going to be the same for you if you're ever considering it or if you're actually going to have a worse time um, a lot of people have said that uh, these kinds of piercings grow out same with eyebrow piercings I guess so I'm just going to enjoy them for as long as I can I mean I have to say they they look amazing and I really I just absolutely love them and I can't wait till they're properly healed which takes about sort of like six to nine months maybe even a year um, and then I'm gonna have like new bars like smaller bars because at the start they put like these really big bars in for to allow for any swelling and anything like that um, and then obviously I can put much tighter bars in there which actually the balls sit either side of my nipple really nicely rather than being quite far away um, and then that will be really nice um, otherwise I've seen some really amazing like little zodiac suns that go all the way around and the bar goes through the center and they're gorgeous um, I've seen just so many amazing piercings that I really want and I, I just I just love them the, the, the jewelry is awesome um, so I'm really mega excited about that so that's one thing uh, I just wanted to kind of mention um, yeah I, I just I was just totally over the moon about that that was that was really cool and uh, then the second thing really is like I've got lots of health issues at the moment which is um, a bit annoying I'll be honest I'm, I'm really not enjoying life at the moment health wise um, so you may uh, remember from one of my last videos I uh, mentioned that I was having like a bad stomach ache and stuff well the truth of it is I've actually been having a bad tummy ache now for it's got to be like three four months now um, since before I moved in here I've been having all sorts of problems with um, bloating um, my tummy is just always bloated all the time um, just not being able to go to the loo properly feeling like cramps and pain and it isn't like something as simple as IBS um, where Oh, let me just move Mabel because Mabel has decided to have a little wonder past the camera. Sorry, May. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's not something as simple as um, IBS or something like that because I was getting this bloating and pain all the time, even when I'm not eating anything. And I tried things like cut certain things out of my diet and not eating bread and not eating dairy and not eating like meat and stuff like that. So anyway, I had blood tests and um, my blood test showed that I have um, I have very low iron level um, but it's not low to the point of where I am fully anemic and actually when they checked my blood count my blood count was normal so actually it means I'm not anemic at all because a true anemic would have very low blood count as well because they don't have a lot of hemoglobin in the body but um, so I have something called IDA which is iron deficiency anemia uh, and what that is, is my body's using too much iron. It's not that I'm not producing it, it's I'm just using too much. So, uh, and that's obviously got something to do with my gut and my intestines because that's where the iron is absorbed or whatever it is. Uh, and so I've been put on iron tablets. I'm having to take those three times a day, uh, which then obviously is causing lots of problems in my gut because it makes you quite constipated and uncomfortable and stuff like that. So then I have to take these sachets, which are like a lactose kind of solution to help my body move and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then uh, not just that, I've had like an ultrasound across my stomach because they wanted to see if there was like any obvious blockages or cysts or anything like that nothing showed up i had an internal scan as well for my, my womb and my ovaries to see if there's any problems down there nothing perfectly fine all happy and dandy which is great um i've had like blood tests for celiac um, colitis both of them are negative uh, i have um, anyone who's interested like my inflammatory markers were really really high and then there's a thing in your gut called cow protein. Um, a normal person's level is 50, but mine was 268. So my inflammatory markers been really high and the cow protein levels been very, very high. That obviously raises concern that there's something else going on in my body at the moment that I don't know what it is. So at the moment, I'm still gonna have lots of more blood tests of various different things. I've got another load of blood tests this coming Monday. And at the moment, I'm waiting on a letter from the hospital from Barnet Hospital because I've been referred to a gastroenterologist um, and I have to have a colonoscopy um, which is pretty grim and um, but at the same time they're going to put a camera inside of me see what's going on in my large intestine because there's obviously something that's not right so I'm kind of hoping at the moment that 
whatever it is that's causing me a problem and making me feel miserable and uncomfortable and um, just giving me bloating and pain, I'm hoping that they get to the bottom of it so I can just fucking put this to bed because I'm so sick of it at the moment and I'm just tired all the time, like tired, like you wouldn't believe, like the iron being low, actually iron is a real issue, it's not even just making you tired, it like like totally affects your brain as well so I'm just the la the concentration is just like kaput like on my lack of I have such bad concentration right now you could tell me something like 15 times and it just does not sink in so information isn't sinking in I'm just not focused at the moment um, I feel like a lot of brain fog and stuff like that and that apparently is all side effects of just being low in iron so um, yeah the iron tablets that I'm taking the, the, the point of it or purpose of it is is to um, put back the iron stores in my body to a normal level and then I'm supposed to have them for three months after that point uh, so I could be taking these tablets for like a year to, to sort out the iron in my body so it's because apparently there's quite a depletion of iron so I need to kind of get things back to normal and then top it up and then go from there and see how I carry on so it's all a bit of a weird thing at the moment and it's quite stressful and a bit uh, so yeah um, but yeah so apart from having boobies pierced and uh, also just yeah all that sort of stuff um still happy living here in Bournewood it's it's absolutely lovely Hertfordshire is beautiful um it's just so nice having fields behind the house the only thing is is that where I'm in a three bedroom cot ped three bedroom cottage now it's absolutely freaking freezing like cold at the time so I've got a jumper on today um and also our neighbor's cat who we've been feeding who I was talking about in my last vlog she seems to have moved herself in now um She's very comfortable, she comes in, sits on the chair and she eats food every day and she has barely left the house the last week. She's been indoors uh, to the point of where our neighbour actually knocked on and said, have you seen her? And uh, we said, yeah, she's here and we're feeding her. Um, but at the end of the day, if a cat doesn't want to be where it is, a cat will leave. Doesn't matter if it's, you know, a cat, animals do, they, they kind of just take themselves where they want to be. Uh, she obviously doesn't want to be next door anymore she she just wants to hang out here so there's not really a lot we can do i mean we can kick her out but then she's been locked out of the house and it's fucking cold so i'm not going to kick her out of the house and she's going to freeze out there and starve which is what kind of drove her to come here in the first place so at the moment we're a bit sort of catted out we have um six cats in the house yay six cats and uh seven hens and a cockerel which is awesome. Um, actually, no, we had seven hens. One of them died. We had six hens and they had two chicks. So we've actually got eight hens. We think the two chicks are kind of hens because they kind of grown up a lot and they look henish. So um, we think we have eight hens and a cockerel. So we have, yes, eight hens, a cockerel and six cats. We are animal overrun at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're kind of looking forward to Christmas. There's a lot of things going on. My uh, my mum and my brother are going to come over for Christmas, which is really awesome. And I'm going to be cooking loads of food for everybody, which I'm quite excited about. And then I'm going to be going to see my sisters on Boxing Day and my nieces. And um, and then after Boxing Day, I'm going to go up to St Ives in Cornwall. So I go up, I go west to St Ives in Cornwall. And that should be really lovely as well. And I'm supposed to be going with my dad and his girlfriend. And we'll see how that goes. But it's a nice long six hour drive. Um, I'm hoping that I can do another vlog between now and um, Christmas. But we'll see. Otherwise, I hope you guys all have an awesome Christmas period um, if you celebrate. Otherwise, a nice festive season or happy holidays and all that jazz. And uh, I will put a vlog up very soon. Take care, guys. Peace out. Cheers.